we listen to this for a minute i know 9 31 we're on time we're on time who knew Jeez. who even knew what is going on it is monday live or monday sketchy live That's right i am joining jalabi with me as always the talented the beautiful the effervescent the cream in my sugar the coffee in my cake i don't know why i thought you were gonna say creamed corn the nut and the cracker <laughs> <laughs> it's it Cream corn. Hi guys. B, I know, what's going I know on? My... Guys, tonight. It is the last. Go it ahead. is our last episode of season four. And possibly forever. No. Oh, okay. Just make sure. We've done four full seasons. This is episode 46 this year, by the 46. way. 46. That's a lot of Mondays. That's out, of, 40... out of 52 Mondays available. So let's let's think about that. So let's well, maybe, let's maybe go 52. an average of let's just give myself 42, right? So every year I do 42 sketches live. So in the last four years, that's 42 times four. And you, I thought you were going to do the math and impress us all. I wasn't because I'm dumb. Go ahead. How much is it? I don't know. Four times 42. Yep. It's 168. That's a lot. That is. Is it 100? I think it is 168. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of sketches. It's a lot. And yes, not all of them are winners. But God darn it, some of them were pretty epic. Some of them were pretty good. Yeah, you know, that would have been cool. Maybe we'll do that sometime before the new year. What? We, like we talked about doing, where I sit here, we sit, we set up again, and we just scroll through the sketches and we talk about them, reminisce, go back, like a recap. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this tonight's episode is going oh, to have to. I'm gonna I'm gonna get started because we got lots to do here. Yeah, um, we are going to do a kickoff uh, season five episode next Monday. By the way. But you're going to California that week. So are you going to have time to do it Monday night? I say we need to. Well, we can try to do something. I don't know. Maybe if I'll get. What, what day is the fifth? Wednesday. Okay. Well, then we have time. I know. I'm just, I didn't know how much prepping you had to do. So <sighs> we'll do a kickoff. Pack my clothes. Because then season two. Of season two, session no segment no show two. Is it show She'll get episode it? Yeah. Two of um, season five is going to be possibly in California. If if Ian will participate, that would be great. If not, oh. maybe you can go on your own. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we'll see what you happens. Can do a little on your own. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. In any case, let me tell you who we've got showing up because there's twenty. By the way, we're doing here. a uh, we're doing oh. Father Time and Baby New Year. Let me show you in a in a uh, dropped c10 oh nice way to ring in the new year yeah there. just for you babe Aww. i said bam i know but but i like the c10s you know i do i know it's your favorite All right, let me tell you who we got on tonight because there's 27 people viewing at this moment well 27 is good lizzie daughtry's joining us hello you too how was your christmas we had a peaceful yeah. non-eventful it was just a relaxed day different. of movies. It was definitely different. Snacking. A lot of snacking. Had a couple drinks. Lots of drinks. This one. Yeah. We had a good time. Thank you for asking. Hope yours was amazing Yeah, as hope well. yours was great. Raphael VW is joining us. Wepa Wepa Mofongo Power. Love you guys. Well, we love you Same as well. Same to you, Raphael. I hope your Christmas was wonderful. Feliz Navidad. Uh, Robert Frost is joining us. Hello, guys. Hope you had a great Christmas. We Same did. to you, Robert. We did. We did. Thank you. James Olchin is joining us. Good evening from Lincoln, Nebraska, home of Speedway Motors. Nice. Home of Speedway Motors. There's a lot of um, 
Oh, you know what? I was thinking this was Indiana. No, it's it's, <laughs> it's Nebraska. I'm sorry. Not, I don't not, know what's in Nebraska. Not the Speedway, babe. Not the Speedway. Not the Speedway. Um, Lou Linder Jr., hello from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Welcome. Hello, Lewis. We've got Brian Fi joining us. Uh, what are we doing? Well, I hope everything is good. Yes, we've been praying we've for the, you, Brian. Some of them leaks under control. Um, I... Yes. Doug Powers is joining us, watching you and Miami Dolphins. Okay. It's not a bad combo. Not a bad combo. We're, yeah. Are the Dolphins live? I mean, are they... Uh, Home? They must be. Why, why is, would I say must be? I yeah, don't know. Why, why, I don't know. Yeah. Are they home? I don't know. Uh, Draco said Howard's gonna Howard's gonna be a little late. Do a doing a grocery run. Okay, that's okay. We will check in with him in a little bit. <laughs> How does he know? Because um, I think he posted earlier he was gonna be a little bit late. Oh, okay. Um, Kevin Johnson is joining us. Hello from effervescent Hud Wiss. <laughs> <laughs> He's using your word. Honestly, I don't even know what that means. Effervescent, I thought was like an Alka Seltzer. Yeah, the what bubbles. is it? Is that there? You go. Is that me? Bubbly. Are you saying effervescent? Oh, wow, you give somebody a compliment and they shit all over you. Sure. Brian Fi said it's 32 in Southwest Oregon and snow on the ground. Oh, yeah. can't even imagine. It's been hot as hell. Dude. Yeah, can't. We've been like in the 80s. Uh, sure love to have a break. Even our overnights are still like in the 60s, I think. Cray. Doc is joining us tonight. Hello from Corn Country. What is that? That's Iowa, I'm assuming. Isn't that Corn Country? Uh, Yeah. Um, Harry Hotch Jr. I said, got my poster come. today. Thank you. Welcome. You know, and I, I have to say, our prints are 11 by 17 in size. It is kind of poster-like. I never really thought about it before, but um, a couple times he, now he's referred to it as a poster. Yeah. And it is larger than your average size. Bear. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, boo -boo. Full color, 11 by 17. These prints are on the Johnny Jalopy website. It's a bargain. It it's, a, it's a bargain. JohnnyJalopy.com. Um, Lizzie said Stephen got a lot of monster trucks. I don't know how there are any left for him to get, Lizzie, because right. that boy has every single one. He's got to have like <laughs> multiples of all the different uh, trucks. Yeah. Um, Craig Wilderman is joining us. First timer, Craig. Well, hello, welcome. Welcome. I wish we need to have like a first timer song or jingle. Oh, first timer to welcome song. Him. <laughs> So, um, Craig, since this is your first time, what we do on Monday nights is I do a lot of talking and I, I mispronounce things a lot. And then Johnny over here works on these cool designs. So you get to watch him draw live. And then once this is done, the episode and the live drawing um, print will be available on our website at johnnyjalopy.com. So you want to go check that out. Yeah, it's available to purchase. And it is available to purchase 20 bucks, 20 bucks and free shipping. $20. For now, Dolores. we are again have not had our Johnny Jalopy meeting. It's probably not going to be until February before we implement anything on the shipping costs because we have not discussed and I need to alter PayPal. So it's going to take some time. Um, so but now's the best time to buy. Now is the best time to buy. And can I just say, I don't know if you're looking at these two little bracelets down here. Can you maybe pause for a moment and show them? What do you mean? I've been showing them the whole time. They have not maybe I'm have seen. Drawing. I'm drawing. All time I'm drawn. We ordered some wristbands that are free with purchase, guys. Yeah, it's the new Stay Sketchy uh, wristband. Let's see if you can get a good shot of that. Yeah. Well, I wish we had a better light on that, huh? Yeah. Can you see it? Let me uh, zoom in. There we go. Stay Sketchy. And there's then the it Stay says sketchy. Johnny Jalopy and ADB. And then there's a little baby logo. Yeah. Little baby logo. Free with purchase. Free with every while supplies last, though. I'm rocking mine. While I dig it. Supplies last. I know. I have mine on as well. Um, so that is a new item. We just got those yesterday. Today. today we just got them today. What am I talking about? Um, so with every order over at johnnyjalopy.com, we will include one for you. Uh, Bob McLaren is joining us from Southern New Jersey, the 51st state. Hi, Bob. He says, Hey all. What is going on? Draco was giving we are just a warm welcome. Well, that's awesome. Look at that truck, guys. That yeah. thing is on the ground. That is a dragon. Yeah, because it's heading into the new year. 
Father Time is uh, on uh, is at the wheel, and the making his entrance. Baby New Year is on his shoulders. Did you make him with the big ears? Who? Baby New Year. You'll Didn't see. he have big ears? I guess. I haven't seen that show in forever either. What show? Or the yeah, it was a little. What are you talking about? The Baby New Year. What was that? No idea what you're talking about. It's like it's like a similar to a Rudolph thing, but oh, yeah? it was the Baby New Year. Huh. What was it? Look at you. Do Pretend. you know what it is? Are you saying me? Wait, Baby I... New Year show. Baby New Year show. It was called. What is the Christmas show with Baby New Year? Um, is it Rudolph? Rudolph Shiny New Year? I don't know. You're telling the story. I think it's Rudolph Shiny New Year. It must be. Because that's all I'm seeing. But, um, yeah, I remember the Baby New Year. That's all I remember. <laughs> <You> <laughs> I vaguely remember it, but I just remember he had big ears, and then somebody was wearing a top hat. Was that Father Time? That's Baby New Year. Baby New Year had a hat on? Baby New Year wears the top hat, because he's bringing in the new year. Is he, Celebrating. Is he related to the Monopoly guy? What is... Oh, the Monopoly guy is the only person who wears a top hat? <laughs> Mr. Peanut wears the top hat. Are they all three related? Yes. <laughs> Oh, Lizzie said, I have some new rings out. Please go check it out on Melissa nice. Tame Jewelry. I might do that because I love rings. Uh, James Olchin said, our tumbleweed blew out two weeks ago, so no tumbleweeds. You know what? I did see, maybe it was from your area. I saw a video on Facebook that somebody posted of a storm coming through, and it was like just tumbleweed after tumbleweed. Hmm. I mean, I've seen it on TV, but I didn't know it actually happened. You didn't, you, you, yeah. I've seen it like in movies and stuff. Um, Draco said, because I'm special and Howard likes me. That's why he knows his whereabouts. Um, Julie said, Julie Anderson's joining us from the Pacific Northwest. We are in Snowmageddon up here, 19 degrees and snowing. Crazy. Are you still on break, Jules, from school? So you don't have to go to work every day and you can just stay home and enjoy it? Um, Spud Anderson is joining us as well. What up, Sketchy Live? What's going Welcome. on? Hank Dutton, Hank Von Dizzle is here, he says. <laughs> Hank Dutton is our web designer. He is amazing. Go check out his work at johnnyjalopy.com and then head over to hankd.com because he's got some cool stuff going on over there too. Cool artwork, cool products. Rocking it. By yes. the way, uh, in front there is one of the uh, cool little uh, 3D ornaments. Monster that he, ornament. Yeah, that he made uh, and gave me as a gift this year. And then we have the cool uh, Johnny Jalopy and Itty B 3D uh, munchkins over here that he sent us as well. Super cool. Thank you, Hank, for all the great work you do on yeah, the site and cool. for all the fun things you send us. Draco said poster-ish. It is poster-ish. I think it would be more poster-like if we were doing an up and down version. Um, a mm. Is that what you're doing tonight? You're funny. What? I just think it's funny when you use different words. What? Up and down version? Yeah. It's called portrait. There we you go. We usually do the landscape. This is portrait. Um, Is what you're doing tonight portrait? It looks portrait. Yes, it is. Yes. There you go. Poster. Who knew? Um, Mama Wood is in the What's house. Up, Mom? Mama and Tim are in the house. Hi, all my babies. Love you. Look at the way she says all my I'm babies. All my babies. <laughs> it's not just us anymore. <laughs> we were over to see Mama. Well, and she Tim. is. She is Mama Jalopy. So she is. We were over to see Mama and Tim yesterday, bringing tidings of cheer their way. We had some good we laughs. We tried to bring some do. comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Um, Johnny got hooked up with some Chex Mix while we were there, yes, and good. Um, I had some chocolates, so always a good time at Mama Woods. Um, Kevin Johnson said, the print's bigger than a pick and nick basket. <laughs> <laughs> Would not fit in a picnic basket. Um, Hank said, I need a new tan line maker. Tan line maker? Yeah, the, the little bands we got here. Oh, Yes. They're cool, man. I'm really stoked about mine. Stay sketchy. I, I love it. The stay sketchy and the itty b and it's gonna be a conversation starter. Yeah. Like, what is an itty b? Right. Who's Johnny Jalopy? Right. And why are you staying sketchy? Can I even? Trust what does that you? even mean? Can I even trust you? What does that even mean to stay sketchy? 
Um, Lizzie said, I would love to have one. Good news, Lizzie. You still have some credit with me, so or with us, so you can uh, you can. Order <laughs> well, you something. called it like it really is, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm the one keeping track of all of it. So. Yeah. Um, Craig Wilderman said, "Were you guys ever at Hunter Car Pileup? Is that one you, you didn't go to that one? You wanted uh, to? No, we really wanted, you just wanted to. Wanted to. Yeah. Year after year, has wanted to go, has not gone. One day, one day, Mike Dedeman is joining us. Hi, Johnny. How are you guys doing? We're From great. Hudson, Florida. What up, Hudson? In our backyard, but in a hospital room. Mike, what, what are you doing? On? What is going on? Well, we're glad you stopped here. Yes, indeed. Thanks for checking in. We're praying everything's okay. Yeah. The McCoys are joining us. The real Cajun McCoys are here in a warm and humid Maurice, Louisiana, yeah, getting man. ready for the new year. We're getting ready to get some um, more of that humidity tomorrow. Batting down the hatches, guys, because I heard that Louisiana is supposed to be swept with some weather here uh, in the next few days. So it's not, and I don't even think it's coming from And this part way. of Schedule A brought to you by weather. <laughs> it's where it's at. <laughs> Um, Mike Dedeman said, first time here. Another first timer, Mike. Nice. Welcome. Um, like I was telling our other first timer tonight, um, I do a lot of talking and mispronun mispronunciation. Mispronunciation. And Johnny poor, does a lot of drawing. Poor ge ge geography. It's all here. Johnny's drawing a C10 with Father Time and Baby New Year to ring in the new year. That's right. Can you zoom out a sec? Yeah, let, let the me people get the see. Headlight real quick. So you kind of get to see his process. He did a little pre-sketch before we started, which you can't really see. Again, we we saw you can't really see the pre-sketch. Good. You, you can see it. That's um, the there's point. a little bit of a sketch there. <laughs> but he did that while we were waiting to come on live. And um, and then he just inks it in. It just kind of saves a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Um, so welcome, Mike. Uh Draco said gonna be on bit. Yes, this is gonna be on bit. For all you newbies, that's um, right. That is my saying. When something's super cool, it is on bit. Yeah, it's been a while since you used it that one. It has been. I think we need to bring it back for 2022. Well, I mean, that's your your deal. Yeah, it is my too. Hmm. Um, Kevin Johnson said the Slam C10 is looking so good. I know I'm digging it. Every time I see a cool truck, I post it to your page. Or yeah, your I'd love to get you one. I know. I'd love to have one. Trade in the Equinox. Um, Dan Schleisman said, yes, Rudolph. Okay, so it was Rudolph. That's where the baby knew you were. And I didn't watch any of those shows this year. We watched Elf. We watched, oh, you know what I did see? Well, you started to fall asleep. Uh, there was the be one of the best ones, one of my favorites, which is that? the uh, the uh, Year Without a Santa Claus. Mm. Because that's the one where... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> um, when was that one on? When did I miss that? You were asleep. Uh, um, I did sit through A Wonderful Life, though. Yes. I've never seen that movie start to finish. Which is crazy to me that you've never seen it. Finally watched it, and here was the best part. My son Kevin was here with us, and he watched it with us. Yeah, and he was like, this and is he was, like, he was like, this movie is fantastic. <laughs> it really was. I could, I mean, and this is coming from somebody who's very much into like newer, cooler stuff and like to watch a black and white movie. I didn't think he would. Yeah, I think it, it, I thought it, he was gonna fall asleep, honestly. No, nah, he was getting emotional. He was. Yeah. Great movie. So that was that was my that was my Christmas present to myself watching that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Spear is joining us. Welcome, sir. What up, man? Welcome, sir. Lainey Kelt, Lane Kelton is joining us. I was shoveling snow yesterday morning in New Hampshire, swatting skeeters in Alabama today. This is what you get. It's what you get. It's what you get. You shouldn't have come back so soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the snow, but I think I would love it more on vacation. I remember living in New Jersey. I only lived there until I was 18. And then I moved away to tropical climates from that point forward. I've never been in snow since that time. And I can remember for an entire year driving in the snow and, yeah. and how I was like, I, how do people do this? You drove in the snow? Yeah. Huh. Well, that's something I haven't experienced. See, I had to. Driving in the snow. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, I haven't. Even when you went skiing and stuff, you didn't, there was no uh, snow on the ground? People, I had the people driving. Oh. I was passenger. Yeah. And I was a new driver because we got our licenses at 17. And so I was cool. I was cool with that. I drove through a whole winter. 
by uh, myself. You know what? Let me take that back. I have driven. I mean, I used to take take my Jeep up to the to the mountains where the snow was. So okay. So yeah, I guess I kind of did. Yeah. I mean, but not like to have to get in. That was still fun, though. That was fun time. It wasn't, oh, crap, I have to go to work right now. Let me. No, go. no, I didn't have yeah. to go to work. I mean, I'd have to go out, start my car, put the defroster on, go back in the house, finish getting ready, come back out. Right. And then try and, you know, hope my defroster works. Oh, horror. And get to work. Yeah. So it was, and we lived on a dead end street. So oh, they didn't no. pave us. In fact, many times our dead end got paved in or paved. Plow. <laughs> this is what I do plowed us they didn't plow us oh they plowed you they used to plow us in oh geez yeah so it was a little bit of a challenge um kevin johnson said baby new year had the big ears father time had the hairy ears oh so they liked ears yeah we'll see if we can get some ear hair up in this ear ears going on hair going on the ears keith sturgeon's joining us love your work brother thanks man um he's in ohio right. thanks for joining us yeah if you're new tell us where you're from so we know where our uh viewers are coming from tonight we've got 30 people watching so far tell your friends tell your friends this is a this is gonna be a pretty cool design guys going out with a bang in 2021 we're sure trying um, yeah robert spear said haha hank dutton keeps showing up and recommended friends on facebook robert do it man <laughs> do it do it hank is i will tell you a wealth of knowledge. First of all, he knows a lot about a lot of different things. He very knows much, some stuff. Very yeah. much like my husband. He knows some stuff. Like I would, I would want him on my team in Trivial Pursuit. I'm just saying. Um, him and Johnny together, I'm sure, are unstoppable. Um, you're pretty smart. Oh, pretty smart. You're pretty smart. Yeah. I just don't know about Trivial Pursuit. I think you could do it. I think if you really sat down and thought about the answers. You could probably do it. I wouldn't even know what version of Trivial Pursuit to get at this point because the one I grew up on was like 70s Trivial Pursuit, questions from the 70s and entertainers from the 70s. I'd be lost if I had something recent because I don't know who any of these entertainers are these days. Um, James Olchin said we had several tornadoes a couple weeks ago, a little damage here and there. It's crazy weather going on right now, guys. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Um, Jody Low. I, don't, I really don't know how to say this, Jody. Is it Loc Fase Luciano? Or should I just say Jody Luciano? I'm just going to, I'm going to call you Luke. Loc. I'm going to call you Loc. Um, he made it. Hashtag 813 Tampa. Hashtag 910 NC. What? We got a lot of hashtags going on. Nice. <laughs> um, Hank said, Robert Spear, I get around. <laughs> Tracy Cordville's joining us. Hey guys, I drove two hours to pick up my new puppy and I got here and she asked if I could come meet her at Walmart. That was three hours ago. I'm so upset. Oh, maybe she's on, maybe she's on the way. Hang in there. Yeah. Um, but he said on a good note, I got my hat today. Sweet. Well, Merry Christmas to you, Tracy. And hopefully I signed it how you wanted it. Yes. And all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, signatures available. Johnny signs each and every print that he does, but it's a digital print. But if you want something handwritten on there, you want a little note on the back, whatever, tell us what you want, where you want it. He'll do it for you. Yeah. Um, Mike Dedeman said, Merry Christmas, you all. Same to you, sir. Naz Malone's joining us. Hey, guys. Uh, Mike said, I had cancer surgery today. He said, I met you guys at Southland's model car swap meet in contest. Show. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. I remember that. Well, Mike, God bless you, and we will continue to pray for your healing. That's right. Um, Draco said, I hope everything went well. Mike said, thanks. Um, Hank Dutton said, the Burgermeister. The Burgermeister? Now I want a burger. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lizzie said, I saw all the Christmas shows this year. Well, you had more time than me, I'm sorry, because I did not make any time to watch them. I was just too busy doing stuff. Uh, Tracy said, I love trucks. It looks awesome. Yeah, this is going to be a super cool one. Um, Kathleen Harrigan is joining hey, us. She said, JJ. What's up? What up, girl? Draco said, riding a motorcycle in the snow and all it's cracked up to be. I can imagine. I, I can't imagine doing it on a bike. I don't know how people do that. Uh, Doug Power said, my daily driver is an 81 F100 Ranger Lariat. Nice. Cool. 
Um, Doug Powers is in Melbourne, Florida. So you're right in our backyard here. We're down in Pasco County, Doug. Um, Gavin Little's joining us. Hello, guys. What's it's currently going on? 18 degrees where I live in Washington State and no snow. Friday nights, it's supposed to get down to three degrees. Burr. I'd love to experience a tropical Christmas slash New Year. Gavin, <laughs> let's get together and maybe next year we can switch because I would love to have a white Christmas. <laughs> Kathleen Harrigan said, Bomb bitch approved. What up? Boom. You got the approval from Bomb nice. bitch. Kevin Johnson said, We had tornadoes here in Wisconsin on December 15th. A lot of damage. I did hear about those. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, you're rebuilding and everything is uh, starting to take shape. Um, Gavin said, Loving the drawing. Yeah, this is a great one, guys. Um, Kathleen's joining us from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Welcome. Kevin Johnson said, did uh, Joe Loke sing Facey Cold Seattle? <laughs> what? <laughs> Instead of Tell Loke, Joe Loke. <laughs> uh, Tracy Corporal said, yes, you did sign it in the correct space. He loves it's a good it. Good deal. Just want to make sure. Oh, he said, it's just face, not Fosse. LOL. <laughs> we didn't even try to like put a spin on it to make it sound funny. Regular old face, mommy. <laughs> so Jody Face. I'm just going to call you, I'm just going to call you Loke. You're now the new Loke. Forget Tone Loke. You got Jode Loke in the house. <laughs> Mike Dedeman said, thanks, guys. Absolutely, sir. Um, Craig Wilderman said, Indiana, having a 1955 Suburban slash drawing a redneck truck for my nephew while watching. Very cool. Awesome. Fellow artist. Um, Gavin Little said, hoping to be able to place an order for birthday next month, hoping to get a hat, bag, and a drawing or two. Well, we've got a ton for you to choose from. And Gavin, I don't know if you were on earlier when we were talking about it. Can you show your wrist again, sir? Pip. Yeah, one Here sec. Kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> I, didn't were, Jesus. I didn't know if you knew I was talking to you. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> kind of busy. We've got these cool... Um, bracelets these bands to give away stay sketchy sketchy band johnny jalopy and itty b and then there's a little teeny maybe if you went maybe if it went single shot on here it might help oh let me do single you know. shot there, there it go. is there it is johnny's got two of them on so he can show each side super cool um those are available with every purchase you're gonna get one while supplies last and what do we get like 100 of them i don't know something like that 100 i think 100 so indeed, Joe Beckham's tuning in. Miss you, kids. What's up, Beckham? Welcome, Joe. Um, Kathleen said, waiting for transport. Uh-oh. Where are you? Oh, she said, alien approved. Do you mean transport from this earth or <laughs> transport in a hospital of some sort? When I hear transport, I think of hospitals. Hopefully all is well. Um, Kevin Johnson said, if you live in the cold, buy a beanie. The best. Yes. I am rocking the Johnny Jalopy beanie. And as we showed last week, the inside of these are lined, super comfortable on the head, super warm, yet breathable. So I wear it all summer, actually. It's um, more of a fashion thing for me and to hide my roots. 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 Um, so definitely, yeah, beanies. 25 bucks for these. 25 bucks for the Johnny Jalopy hats. Uh, we don't have the other hat out here tonight, but we have a sketchy speed equipment hat and a gray and black trucker design. Super nice, super nice. All on the website, johnnyjalopi.com. Uh, Tracy Corpel said, I'm uh, also on the proud owner of a Johnny Five drawing. Yes, ma'am, I love it. Going on my wall next to my 55, Lane Kelton got me. That's nice. right. Laney Kelt did send you a picture. Um, Kathleen Harrigan said, you're definitely sketchy. <laughs> Lizzie said, Itty B, keep the five bucks and send me the bracelet. LOL. <laughs> Robert Spears said, how do you extend the front axle on Kona? How did you extend the front axle on Kona? Very carefully. No, we uh, we took the heater channel and extended it 10 and a half inches. Hmm. I wouldn't even know how to begin to do that, actually. I don't know if you guys saw, uh, but Kona did get a new set of shoes. So she is back in business, right? Yes, yeah, running great. Yeah, she loves the cold weather, of course, being air cold, um, and she's been doing great. We've taken her to work a couple times now. Mm -hmm. 
we got to get her out for some um, action. There's probably going to be another meetup at that OCC place. I mm -hmm. think they were supposed to do them every month. So we'll see what the happenings are for January and maybe get back out there. Once Johnny gets back from California, mm -hmm. California, -A. he's uh, heading out to Mojave on the 5th to um, do some work with Ian, another collaboration. Yep. So super exciting stuff to come. You're going to want to stay tuned. If you're not, I'm sure you're friends with Johnny. That's how you're seeing this. But if, if for some reason you're not, definitely friend him and follow him. Um, so you can stay. Yeah, we do some fun stuff, you know. Stay up to date on what's going on out there in Cali. And if you're at all interested in what we do as normal people, um, there's a lot of that on there, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert Spear said, there I want to, oh, let me zoom in. He says he wants to build his own Kona. She is sweet looking. She is. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love this. That is so cool. And look at that truck. What color scheme are you going to do? Well, what do you want it to be? I don't even know. Should it be gold? Isn't New Year's kind of gold and yeah, silver? kind of. Maybe golds. Can you do like a gold flake? Mm, probably. probably. That would be cool. Lizzie said she's loving the pick. All right. So we are about 30 minutes in or so. Okay, so we're into color now. That's yeah, good. Yeah, so. that's we're doing pretty good on time tonight, guys. Pretty good on time. So Christmas Eve, we did a little live uh, with you guys. We had so much fun doing that. We were reminiscing about Christmas's past. Yeah, that was so stupid. <laughs> and um, toys from the past. And, I mean, there was some really cool stuff that I didn't even know existed. Because, again, I mean, most of the people that tuned in were, were men. And they had, you know, boy toys from... Excuse me? Yeah. Boy toys? Girls were, were getting dolls and stuff like that i wouldn't have thought to ask my parents for anything car related when i, I was eight I years old i don't recall owning any little boy toy you got boy toys i didn't get any boy toys you got toys designed for boys maybe you had a boy toy <laughs> um yeah so we had so much fun doing that um that i think is posted on johnny's page so it is yes. you can go check it out um and i had some people after we had this discussion because we went live and i, I really wasn't looking at uh, we were reading comments, but uh, people weren't able to send photos and everything. But I did get quite a few photos after the fact. And some of those pictures uh, that, of the toys that they were talking about, they sent me. Super cool. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember, understand. Like, somebody posted this dashboard. Um, and it was like a fully functional dashboard, like this big for kids. Had the steering wheel. Had, like, the radio. It had all these switches. It had the odometer. Like, everything. And I... I equated it to a Barbie head for doing like hair. Like the girls had a little Barbie head where you could like fix the woman, the girl's hair <laughs> and do her makeup and stuff like that. That's kind of like what it would have been for me as a girl to have that dashboard as a boy. Right. Cause it was just like a hands-on experience where you feel like you're actually doing it. Hmm. And I'm like, why don't they make those anymore? I have never in my life seen anything like that. And all the years even, I had Just boys, I raised yeah. boys. I've never seen them. Well, your kids weren't interested in cars. So. No, they were like little tykes ones, maybe like chunky, not realistic things. But this yeah. thing was like realistic. But I, I mean, you know, pretty impressed with it. I wasn't around in order to really give them the, you know, the extra that they would have needed for that. So, you know. Doc said, love all my JJ merch and posters I got from my better half. It's great that they are signed to me. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yes. We did personalize those for you. I'm glad you got them. Glad you like them. Uh, James Ulchin said, shouldn't it be an old dirty gold? Oh, shouldn't it be an old dirty gold? Dirty gold. I don't know if we can do that. We'll have to look. Um, Robert Shen. Is it Chen or Shenny? C H E N E. She and she loves to butcher the names. I don't know. <laughs> he says, Truck's looking good. Happy New Year. Same to you, sir. I got you. Tracy Corfell writes, Here's something you'll find funny. Back when I had horses, I was called a smart ass. She asked me if I gave my horses aspirin. I said no, because they never asked for one. LOL. <laughs> Um, Kevin Johnson said Shane question mark maybe maybe it is Shane Robert tell us how it's pronounced yeah I just need I need like a 
pronunciation next to it. <laughs> Some of these names. Name pronunciation of names for dummies. Sometimes I surprise myself and get it correct, but let me focus in on what coloring he's doing here because this gold is taking shape. Super cool. You did great on the face. He almost looks like a male version of like a witch. Was he supposed to be scary? Who? Why does he look? Why would you say he looks scary? Oh, is that a You're nostril or a wart on his nose? It's a wart. It is a wart. What is it? It's a wart. You made a wart on Father Time's Yes, neck? he's old. If he could go back oh, because you're old, you have warts? Have you looked at your face? Is that a prerequisite? <laughs> oh, Robert Shane said it's pronounced Shane. Good job to your viewer. Kevin, good job. Kevin from Hudwis, uh, just in case anyone does not know, a wealth of information as well. And I... <laughs> Always in, doubt him. In times past, I doubted him. I no longer doubt him. He's the man. Shout out to you, Kev. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's looking cool. I don't even remember what Father Time actually looks like. I, I also remember it's the baby's ears. Has it been that long since I've seen that movie? I don't know. I wasn't. I don't know. We need to make a point of watching these movies. Oh, here we go. You know, when you're a fan of film, you'll watch any movie, but you, if it's not a comedy and brand new, I don't want to watch it. I like watching new things. Well, the problem is, is now they don't make new things really good, new, like, you know, what new movie is out that you, you know, have to go see? None of them. None. None, exactly. So there isn't any new stuff. No. Right. So you have to watch old stuff. Well, if old stuff would be, um, it is cartoons and those kind of movies. No, it doesn't. No, anything those. old stuff is good. You're just. We'll see. We'll see. Robert Shane said, "Is that Kevin Porkchop Johnson? <laughs> Why Porkchop? I don't remember anything about Porkchop." Um, Hank said, "Father Time looks like Old Man River." Cool. I think it, I, the the way you did the cartoon looks great. Thanks. It really does. That's the uh, idea. Kevin Johnson said, no, I'm not pork chop Johnson, but now I'm interested. <laughs> What's with the pork chop? And pork Robert? chops? Me too. Sounds great. Pork chops are good. I do like them. Maybe we'll have that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We will see. Look at the color on this, guys. Going back to a solo layout here so you can check it out. It's so amazing how quickly he does the, the drawing. I mean, I, again, pre-sketch, he was literally in there for maybe... 30 minutes doing a pre-sketch. Mm. And I don't even think you were sketching the whole time. You were probably looking for references yeah, I was... and ideas. So 30 minutes of a pre-sketch, if that. And then all he's doing here is just going over these lines. And then the way he's coloring it in, the areas that he's choosing to shade. Super technical without looking super technical. He just knows what he's doing. Um, Jody, oh, nope, Jody Loke, haven't ate a pork chop since 2003. Mm. Why? It's the other white meat. What are you doing? <laughs> Hank said, I've tried pork chops three times in my life and hated them each time. I would only eat the applesauce. Well, the problem is, is because most people who do pork chops, they burn them and they overcook them. Um, how are you doing so... your pork chops? Because a good breaded pork chop is a family favorite. Uh, yeah. And same. grilled pork chops, we've been doing them recently. We've been getting the thicker ones, and those have cooked well. The thin ones do tend to crisp up, and they get a little tough. Again, you have to keep your eye on them, and you don't want to overcook them. Oh, Kevin said. My rule is 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Oh, right. Instead of 2-2 two and two from Actually, Chuck it's like 6-6.5. Six, six and, a half, six instead, and of, a half. instead of 2-2 two and two from Chuck Woolery, it's 7-7. Seven 7-7. Seven. Seven and seven. Six and, it's actually 6. I usually go 6-6 six, six and then kind of set them while I get my plate to go pick, take them off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know. You tripped it. Oh. For crying out loud. Um, Kevin Johnson said pork chops and applesauce. What TV show is that from? Oh, uh, The Brady Bunch. It is The Brady Bunch. Um, Robert Shane said Ain't pork chops and that. applesauce. We used to work together, and that was a running gag. I like pork. I've never had them together, honestly. I haven't had applesauce in forever. 
Have to get some of that. Uh, Craig Wilderman said, what software does Johnny use? Just got Painter 21. Oh. Um, Johnny is actually using an app Sketchable. called Sketchable. Yeah. And um, he's on a Microsoft Surface book. What version is it again? It's book three. I'm going to have to update my notes. No, I had Microsoft Surface book. Oh, I did already update it. <laughs> Look at me. It's already updated. Um, he's on the Surface book three. Is Painter 21 a uh, an Apple thing? I, I'm not really Must sure. Be. You might ask the person who asked that. Must be, Craig. What is it? Um, is it for Android or Microsoft or is it for Apple? Uh, Lizzie said, I knew someone back in my teen years that had a truck just like this. It was black. Nice. I, we see a lot of these on the road. Yeah, we love them. Love it. Love it. Love it. Robert Shane said, I actually had a pork chop for dinner tonight. Yeah. Nice. Um, Brady Bunch, yes. Um, Jody Loke, and they be too salty. I never actually cooked one either. They're too salty if you salt them. Otherwise, they're not. I don't think in and of themselves they're salty. No, no. It's all on how you, you know. You got to prep it. Yeah, you way you prep it. I, I personally am more of a, like the, of course, I don't, my taste buds still don't work. So that's that's a battle on its own. It is. What did you eat the other day? And you're like, this is phenomenal. Um, there usually isn't much that I say that. Where were we? Darn it. Then you said you could actually taste it. Well, the burger that we had the, oh, uh, the yesterday burger. Oh, was good. That was a good burger. Um, Hank said, my wife and her family are Italian, so we eat a lot, a lot of pasta and pizza. But I love tacos, which she never had until she started dating me. I come from a an Italian family as well, and it was a lot of pasta and pizza as well. And um, in fact, that's what hooked this man was my Thank spaghetti you. dinners. Yes, that is correct. Spaghetti and meatballs. You are correct. Which what you have for dinner tonight, my love? Spaghetti and meatballs. Who loves you? I'm assuming you. Yeah. Um, and I I didn't I did eat tacos a lot. And burritos and milanesas. I ate a lot of um, South American yeah. black food in, yeah. in a prior relationship. But Johnny introduced me to just the, I never had a standard street taco like the way you like them, which is just the meat, the cilantro, the onion. Well, you have the way my mom makes them, which those yeah. are phenomenal as well. She puts potatoes oh, in her meat. Yes. Like diced up potatoes. It's so You're good. giving away family secrets. Stop telling Sorry. stories. Um, Kevin Johnson said, Hey, Johnny, use my new airbrush and compressor today that I got for Christmas. Painted a 51 Chevy 3100 truck model body. Nice. Um, I'm going to, Kevin Johnson, I'm going to tell you this. Johnny has an airbrush and he's been wanting to pull it out. And I don't know where it is. I do. Um, I, for Christmas, was going to investigate this and get him the stuff to do it. And then I, but I wanted it to be a surprise and I knew I'd have to ask him for help because I looked for it and I couldn't find it. Where is it? It's put away. Where? Why? It's too late now. Surprise is over. <laughs> He's not getting airbrush stuff. He got something else for Christmas. But it is something that I think 2022, you need to start getting back into. I, you loved doing that. I do love and it. And you were so good at it. And uh, it was really, I don't know about that. You yeah. were. All right. You were. And I think it would just take your your art to a new level, especially now with how much time has got. Because how long has it been since you've airbrushed? Uh, quite a few years. Yeah. Probably like six years at least. Yeah, it's been a while. It, before this house, we've been here almost seven years. Before this house. You might have airbrushed once since we've been here. Mm, Anyways. Yeah, maybe. He's great at airbrushing. He used to do pinstriping. I thought he was good at that too. He was still learning, but still very good at that. Um, he does acrylics on canvas. He does acrylics on wood. He does watercolors. I mean, he can really do anything. I try. You really can. You have so many different mediums. I mean, for ease of selling and posting on our website, I think the prints have been a great idea because it gives you an idea of his artwork, but it's in print form, which is going to be easy to ship and that kind of thing. Um, and then they're also cheaper to buy. It's affordable. Than, yeah. Rather than um, yeah. some of the fine art stuff that, that he does. But the fine art stuff he does is phenomenal. I mean, I have I have your pieces pretty much here. We haven't sold any of them. 
I have them hanging up in the house, but I'd like to see you get into doing some of that stuff. Yeah. Maybe like even just like one piece a month or something yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You know? But yeah, airbrushing for sure. Um, we, in fact, one of one of the very first things he did was airbrush some uh, tank tops for me. I was going on a cruise and I didn't want to just wear regular tank tops. So he airbrushed them for me. And then um, we set up a shop. We set up shop outside like a, was it AutoZone or? Oh, that was, yeah. Was it AutoZone? Some no. kind of auto parts store his buddy was running. Um, and we set up outside and, and had some airbrush stuff a outside. Huh? We were doing a fundraiser. Yeah, it was a fundraiser. But you still were doing it on site airbrushing. Yeah, but it wasn't was like I was cool. doing it from anything other than to raise money. You were still doing it. I understand that. But you're like, we set up a shop or something. I said we set up shop outside of. Okay. It wasn't an actual shop, it was a tent. We set up a tent. Nobody knows what you're talking about. In any case. Um, Julie Anderson said stuffed pork chops are a favorite. What are you stuffing them with? That sounds interesting. Hmm. Um, Craig Wilderman said every, um, every OS. Oh, it is Corel brand software. It is the OG of painting software. I remember you used to use Corel, didn't you? Oh, uh, no. Oh, maybe it was Kevin. My son is an artist too. Well, that's when he was taking his uh, certification, remember? Maybe. Um, Jody Loke, I have Surface Pro 7, hashtag Surface Rocks. <laughs> uh, James Olchen said, fabulous job. Had a great time with you two tonight. Love the drawing. James, thanks for stopping Yeah, in. thanks for hanging out with us. Draco said, I stuffed them in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Doc said, eat lots of peppermints, JJ. One of the best ways to retrain your taste buds. Interesting. Hmm. We have peppermints. It is that time of year. I'll try that. Yeah. Kevin Johnson said, one of my passions I'm going to make time for in 2022. Yes, I, I think Johnny will be right there with you. Um, Draco said, do not, do not, do not get one of the battery-powered airbrushes. They just don't work. No, no. never do that. No, I have, I have a... He's got the professional one. I have... I don't know the words you throw around. What? I have a professional one. Isn't it? What, what what makes it a professional one? Because it runs on the compressor. That doesn't make it a professional one. It doesn't? You can buy a shitty one at the <laughs> Harbor Freight that'll do Maybe the same thing. Shitty one. I was going to buy him a professional one. But he ain't get nothing. Else. What 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 constitutes professional? Um, one that works. Yeah. He, just, he just said the battery powered ones don't work. So you have a good one. He has a good one. He doesn't have a professional one, if that's better. Does that work for you? Shut up and draw. <laughs> no, you know, Just word, shut up and draw. The words he uses are so funny because you're trying to sound like it's not. You have a good one. I have nice ones, yeah. Oh, so they're nice ones. <sighs> Julie said you stuff them with stovetop pork flavor stuffing. Oh. <laughs> That sounds good. You like pork chops and stuffing. I've made it before. Oh. Draco said Harbor Freight airbrush compressor is pretty good. I don't know if Johnny would buy it from Harbor Freight. No. Considering he works for the competitor. Don't you have airbrushes? Or, uh, no. Not airbrushes. Um, compressors? Yes, I have work? compressors. I'd want an airbrush uh, compressor. I thought you wanted a quiet compressor. The one you have wasn't quiet. Correct. I would want an airbrush compressor. Right. Look at this drawing, guys. Let me go into a solo layout here. Aww. Look at him. I love it. His one little hair strand. I don't understand why this one. So cute. The coloring is all. The f what are you doing? The white? It almost looks pink over here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't look. Is it because you have gray in the background? Maybe. Huh. We'll see, because when once I start doing the chrome stuff, we're going to need that to look a, better, a little better. Yeah, this looks pretty pink. Still looks good, though. Still looks good. Huh. Interesting. It actually looks a little whiter now that you've um, come out a bit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. 
an easy test. There you go. Bless you. Um, Draco said, Harbor Freight airbrush compressor is pretty good. Hank said, Itty just said, I'm not professional because I don't have a good air compressor. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Words she uses. <laughs> Julie said, nothing Harbor Freight is good. Thank you. Oh. Doc said, can Johnny say where he works? Yeah. I think he can pronounce it. <laughs> Sometimes. Where do you work, baby? Northern Tool. Northern Tool. Um, Kevin Johnson said, my airbrush compressor is a soft hum. So perfect. Yes, that's what you want. Um, Craig said, thanks for the inspiration. I have a couple Doug Door car grease paintings. Oh, nice. I'll be adding Johnny to my collection too. Doug Door is the man. He's he is got the master, some yeah. cool stuff going on out there. So cool. He's one of my heroes. Yeah. Oh, Lizzie said, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Draco said, don't be a hater. Some stuff ain't terrible for us poor folks. It's not, I'm saying it's not like a starter one that you had. You had a very good one that your parents bought you. Didn't your mom and dad buy you that? Probably what? The airbrush. They bought me a airbrush. I, I have like five. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Huh. So you don't need an airbrush and you just need new tips. Mm -hmm. No, I don't need I don't need new tips either. Oh, so what do you need? Why aren't we using it then? I need a compressor. Well, you have a loud one. You can't use the one you have. I don't want to use a loud compressor. Do you want to be listening to a loud compressor? I want an airbrush compressor. Okay. Professional. And they're really expensive. So that's that. all you need. It's just an airbrush. I want a pro and then I want set. A, I want a pro grade. Because what I would be... a pro grade like professional. Yeah. Oh, so the air the airbrush isn't professional. The compressor needs to be professional. I would like it to be probably a silent air or um and those are like a couple grand. Oh. You weren't getting that for Christmas. Oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed you to tell me that. <laughs> Hank said, Did you see the video door posted yesterday? Had an alien visit his backyard. I did see the thing with Yeah, the that was crazy, huh? There has to be some kind of explanation for on there is an alien. We got to get Leonard Nimoy out there. Right. Um, Doc said, I love Northern Tool over Harbor. Wish we got one in town here, though. We just have Harbor and Home Depot. Good news, Doc. They ship. You can go online. We do have an online website, yes. We do. Draco said truth. Uh, Julie said, sorry, no disrespect intended. Just know that that's, the stuff from there doesn't last. Um, so, you know, this is just me talking about the stuff we sell. Um, but yes, that is the, it's, it's not the same quality. You get what you pay for when it comes to tools. Is it like the difference between a Walmart and Target, would you say? No. No? Not the same. What about a dollar store and a Walmart? It's yeah. apple, apples and oranges. Like a Win Dixie to Publix. Apples and oranges. <laughs> I can go on and on. I know you can. So I keep using the word apples and oranges. <laughs> Hank said, I just shipped my pants. They got here real quick. I remember that one. That was great. Oh, my goodness. No, I mean, it, it, it listen, it is somebody stated the it, it's expensive to cheap. It has its place. So when you're. You know, you need to get a project done and you don't want to spend a truckload of money. That's the that's the thing to do. But right. if you're going to you want to buy something a little more quality. I mean, we have cheap garbage, too. Does Harbor Freight have the little chicks or is that Tractor Supply? That's Tractor Supply, babe. Wow. I love the little chicks. Me, too. And they don't even have them anymore. I love them chicks too. I've been in a couple times and I think they got rid of them. I'm so upset. Couldn't play with them. It was coming out pretty cool. It is coming out pretty cool. You're going to do a little bit of a flake design on that yellow, right? Oh, uh, we'll see. You we'll like see it what... just the yellow? We'll see what happens. Okay. Jesus. Somebody is in a mood. Somebody is also in a mood. Doc said, got one an hour away, so when I'm in town, um, love gravel gear clothes. Yes. Yeah. Great brand. It is a great brand. Johnny had some gravel gear stuff as well. I did? Yeah. You had um, sweatshirt from there? 
And I think you had a pair of pants. We got that were gravel gear. I haven't worn gravel gear pants in years. It's been years. I said you had. Um, Howard Pierpont is finally joining us. 31 degrees What's and going cloudy on? in Greeley, Colorado today, or this evening, I should say. Is it evening for you? Yes, it is. Welcome, Howard. Um, Lizzie said, uh, go to Rural King. They have the baby chicks. That's true. We don't have one near us. I think the closest one is up in Spring Hill. Yes, it is. Or maybe Tampa. Spring Hill. Yeah. Um, I know. They had the baby chicks at Tractor Supply, and then they took them away, I think, during COVID. So, um, Oh, Howard said little chicks are out of season. Oh, I didn't realize they were seasonal. They only have babies at certain times. I didn't realize that. <laughs> the things you learn. Doc said, if you use a tool once, then go cheap. If you are earning your money with it, you get what you pay for. I think that's with everything, honestly. Um, Johnny gets so upset with me because sometimes I'll just buy a cheap pair of shoes and then I'll complain in three that's months. The part, that's, that's the, the only part. That, that's the only part that irritates me. Is the is you, that the only thing that irritates you? Because I'm pretty sure there's a list. Go ahead. In that, in that situation, oh, is in that where, situation. Yes, is where you're complaining about how they didn't last. And I'm like, what did you expect? You bought garbage. It is true. I do tend to buy garbage because I don't like to spend a ton of money on myself. Let's tear our nails. Russ Randall is joining us. Awesome work, he says. Thank you. We're ringing in the new year, Russ, with baby new year and father time and a cool C10. Hank said, I normally buy a pair of cheap sunglasses. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. <laughs> no more chicks, Kevin Johnson said, because Lenny let George pet them. <laughs> What is Lenny and George? Is that is that curious, George? Is Lenny the guy in the yellow I don't hat? know, babe. Who's Lenny and who's George? Is it curious, George? I'm curious. When you're asking those questions, because I'm not looking, I'm, I'm watching my screen. Because you're are supposed you, to, you're are supposed you directing, to know everything. Are you directing those questions at me? Sometimes, yes. So at least what I'm saying, I don't know. I'm not saying it to just for no reason. Bob Gore is joining us, looking good, my brother. Because <laughs> I'm like, what are you He's talking about? Kevin Johnson said, watch your dress. Lenny and George in my dress. Oh, of Mice and Men. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen that. Have you seen that? No. That's and I supposed call myself, to be. And I call myself a fan of film. You're not a fof if you haven't seen Mom. I guess. <laughs> Mom. Oh, no. It's Ma'am of Mice and Men. Oh, oh ma'am. Um, Howard said, if you are raising chicks for the family, you want to make sure... They are all finished in the fall. You don't want to go out into the cold to feed. Commercial chicks are raised for 12 weeks. Howard, I just want to come out and visit your farm. He's probably got so much cool stuff out there. Yeah, he probably does. And it's probably beautiful. You know what he doesn't want down there? Acres and acres. You know what he doesn't want? What is he doing? City Slick. <laughs> that was a great movie. I love that movie. Which one? City Slickers. Did you see it? Yeah. Billy Crystal? Of course I did. Um, Lizzie said, Itty B, my rings are thumb and middle finger rings. Oh, nice. I might be able to do a middle finger here, thumb all day long. I'm all about the thumbs. I'm going to go look at it. She's all, all about, about the, the thumbs, thumbs. About the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Jody Lokes at Hardcore Bob Gore. Indeed. Bob Gore, what is going on, my friend? Kevin said, do you have problems with coyotes? By the way, Indeed. speaking of Bob Gore, what? I believe the episode that he was on Full Custom was on uh, on the 26th. This last, Just played? This last, yeah. Oh. So shout out to Bob Gore. Bob Gore, local celeb. First, I mean, he's he's OG uh, Full Custom Garage. Right. Um, Kevin wants to know if we have problems with coyotes. No, I we, don't mind them. We've had coyotes. I don't mind Maybe them. he's talking to Howard uh, out there in Greeley. I'm not sure. We've had some coyotes running through our neighborhood. When have you seen a coyote? Uh, when we first moved in, there was a there was huge, no coyotes. huge coyote problem. We no, had like two. wasn't. We had like two running around. Um, Craig Wilderman has to go later, guys. When did he? Rock. 
Was Craig, wasn't Craig one of our new people? Yes. Craig, thanks for stopping by, man. Yes. He hung in here for an hour, a whole hour. Look at you. He was with us. Kudos, man. Kudos. I know I'm allowed to take, and eventually my, no my, my noise. Yeah, your my voice, voice becomes gets annoying. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jody said, yes, it was. So he must have seen it as well. Howard Pierpont, Pierpont said, Pierpont. I was a researcher for many years and a student of commercial activities. Saw the difference between your packaging and Ian. Oh, he was looking at your package. <laughs> Sweet. Or maybe he was talking to right. Kevin. Oh, no, I mean, he might have been talking to Bob. Howard, wh whose package were you referring to? Guys, look at the flake he is putting in on this. And look at the way he's doing this chrome. Mere dots. And yet when he pulls it out, it looks phenomenal. Look at that. This is cool. Guys, New Year. $20 for this thing. Free shipping still. Best of all, free wristband with your purchase. <laughs> I'm excited Best about the wristband. Best of all, the wristband. <laughs> it's the wristband. That really Let's get another shot of the wristband. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on you. Mm -hmm. Look at that wristband. Stay sketchy, baby. And it's it's not just one sided. Spin it. I don't need no, to. You can't. That's the other side. That's the other side. So we have skate. Stay sketchy. We have skate sketchy. Skate sketchy. Skate sketchy. <laughs> and Jitty B and Johnny Alapi. <laughs> <laughs> and the little baby logo. Love them. And why you asked? Did we choose red? I like red. Red is my accent color. Johnny asked for my input. That was my input. And we went with it. Yeah. We went with it. I know you wanted it, so we did it. You got to make mama happy. Kevin Johnson said, Howard is looking at your Johnny sack. Nice. <laughs> Kevin Johnson, you are hysterical. Hyster. Lizzie said, sweet. Howard Pierpont said, I bought a shirt from each of you. I spent my money and got my learning. Oh. Hopefully our shirts held up for you, Howard. So what was the, can we ask what the difference was or. From who to who what now? Yeah. If you were, because he said that he, um, he looks at the packaging between your stuff and Ian's stuff. Okay. So, I mean, are we, are we okay? Is our stuff okay? Is are it we all right? Stuff? Do you love us? Do we, are we, are we still friends? Let us know. Let us know. Cause you did spend good money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's also sent us stuff. Like, I love my beanie. I haven't worn it in a little bit. I have a favorite pair of pants that it goes with that are multicolored, Howard, and I like to wear it with those leggings. Um, Howard Pierpont said, you're okay, but we should talk. Oh. oh. Well, we have a lot of people that, that do like our stuff, so hopefully it's not, it's not a bad thing. He said, you're okay. Hmm. So meaning we're good, but maybe we should talk to him. Maybe he has some ideas. Okay. First of all, guys, love ideas. Um, Hank Dutton gives us a thousand ideas each month. Thousand and one. <laughs> and we never even take his advice on. That's stuff. not true. We do on some. We've stuff. taken advice on. He's some just. Stuff. He's got so much. <laughs> we would be. <coughs> we'd probably be multimillionaires if he was involved. On a day to day with what we were doing. A day to day. That's pretty much. Ideas, so. That's pretty much the day to day as a Waffle House manager. So if you have ideas, if you have um, any issues, if you have any Hopefully recommendations, hit us up. We ought to make an extra an extra email just for comments and concerns. <laughs> but if you do need us. It is Johnny Jalopy LLC at gmail.com. There is a link on the website directly to that email. So send us your thoughts. Tell us what you think. Um, Hank said ideas. What? Hank, you are the master of ideas. Draco said, no, not Hank. Why? Hank has some great ideas. Draco has some great ideas. Mm -hmm. These guys are making things happen. Draco, I was watching a guy today. I think it was on Instagram who had an Altoids container with little paint splotches in it, little drips of paint. 
and then on that was inside the container and then on the open inside part of the container on the top he was painting a scene that he was looking at and i thought of you because of how small your designs can be you have a way of making such cool stuff on teeny teeny media and it reminded me of you when i saw that you, you said you've seen that guy's stuff before mm -hmm. Phenomenal so artist. You are on your way. Maybe get a couple Altoid containers because that was a great idea. He wasn't actually painting on the Altoid. Yes, he was. Oh, was there paper in there? Yeah. Oh. You're an idiot. So the Altoid container, I guess, was just the paint. You're an idiot. <laughs> was just the paint. And then he, in the top part of it, he had a piece of paper fitted to the Altoid container. He was painting on that, I guess. My bad. Yeah, Kevin Johnson said, I saw that guy too, idiot. It was cool. Yes, I love it. Um, Jody Loke said, Hank Dutton, any kin to John Dutton down at the Yellowstone, LOL. <laughs> Hank said, uh, chocolate and potato chips, chocolate chips, great ideas. Um, and that is a phenomenal idea, actually. We might take you up on that one. Doc said, is Bob Gordon no longer on here? It was in my friends list and I don't see him on it or here anymore oh i don't know doc reach out or friend request him again kevin johnson said ever see the guy uh sketchy people on the subway yeah that one's pretty cool too draco said i need to see that one looks awesome oh doug power said that the uh design looks awesome he said Thanks. later so he's got to head out hank said uh jody i think there is a john dutton in the fam but lives in ohio reunions this one's coming out great did his white get any whiter yeah for you okay yeah it looks good over here and uh, are you doing it is it a gray or like a baby blue background it's uh like a grayish blue okay. yeah this is looking super cool what a great idea for this one because we were trying to think of something cool to do car wise but then also something themed mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. i think you knocked it out of the park with this one trying looks great are you almost done we're only at an hour seven right yes. now yes wow guys is this going to be a trend Shut for 2022 we are on face. time and within a an acceptable time frame for viewers. This is punch, fantastic. Punch you in the face. Jeff Bell's tuning in. He said, I'm late, but I tuned in late. Je and then Hank said, are you prego? <laughs> Gavin Little said, my wife and I are starting to look into getting me some type of setup uh, for me to start learning digital drawing. Any advice on what to look into? Yeah. I mean, this, uh, I say, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of surface, so and this sketchable app is super fun super easy to use too right I love it. yeah he's um he's been using it for um, probably four and a half years so i think you had it for a little bit before we started doing sketchy but i mean not too much longer no well no you got it for christmas you started we started sketchy in february that's right so he only had it for a couple months and um was able to learn it and you know, I mean, obviously, each each week as you did more and more, mm -hmm. you got better and better with it. But um, Jody said, John Wick, chapter number four, 2022, Jalop. What do you think? John Wick, love that movie. Was there any super cool cars in that you could draw? <sighs> Tons. Really? It's yeah. Keanu. I, I would love to do a few more. Maybe we'll do that as a kickoff when you get back from vacation, like maybe for February, since that's really our anniversary of the very first episode of Sketchy is February. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do uh, some really cool movie cars again, because there were quite a few on the list that we didn't get a chance to do last year when we were doing them all. Um, Draco said, better late than never to Jeff. Hank said, Gavin Little procreate on the ipad another great yeah if, if you're an apple if you're apple uh, an apple person then you're definitely procreate is the way to go um i just really love sketchable it's very easy to use it's very simple to to learn um you know it's, i'm just that's kind of my preference but yeah uh, procreate is a is a great i mean a lot of everybody uses it so that's kind of why, to be honest, it's why I've kind of stuck to using Sketchable. 
is that everybody is using the same app and I just kind of wanted to do mine a little different and there, you know, it has. Its... I think that this actually fits your style though. Yeah, I think so. I think it does. Um, Jeff Bell said, you shouldn't talk to your pitcher during a no hitter. He said, Freya is watching with me. She wants a shout out. Freya. What's up, Freya? Hey, Freya. How was your Christmas? I hope everything went well. And yeah. You got some cool stuff from the big man, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Draco said, I have amateur create instead of procreate. <laughs> Draco said, sup, booger. That's what he calls, what mm. Jeff calls his daughter. How fun. Jeff, does she draw? I'm sure she does. She may not. Maybe she doesn't like to draw. But does she draw, though? Um, Heather Myers is joining us. Hello. What's Looks up? great. Elvis's birthday is New Year's Eve, 14 wow, years old. Wow. Elvis is getting big. He was 10. He was 10 when he first started watching. Remember? I was excited the other day. I saw a picture they posted, and Elvis was wearing a Johnny Johnny Jalopy shirt. Jalopy shirt. Yeah. I know. I saw that, too. And I was like, ah, oh, man. They have got a ton of stuff going on at the farm over there, guys. The Myers crew stays hella busy. Super busy. Um, Gavin Little said, thank you for the info. Yeah. And, Anytime. And, and if you want any more information, feel free. Johnny Jalopy, LLC, gmail.com. Hit me up. Okay. Be more than happy. Yes. I don't like that. What? I don't like the outline. I think it was better without it. I think it was better without it. Why? Because it looks almost too cartoony now. That's the point. I, it's a cartoon. Okay. Draco said, Heather, wow, he's getting old. He is. Um, Jeff Bell said, thanks, everyone. She loved it. Yes, she says she does draw. Oh, fantastic. I would love to see your stuff. Very cool. Let me focus back in on this for you. Oop. I like the flexibility of making it bigger like that, being able to move it around on there. Super cool. Are you done, sir? You don't like it? No, I do not. Why? I don't like the outline. The car, the car is too cool to have an outline around it like that. I'm sorry, that's just me. Yeah, you don't really have taste, but okay. I don't like the outline. That's better. That is a hundred times better. Okay. Um, Lizzie said she's loving the pick, new screensaver. I love it without the outline. Very cool. It doesn't need the outline. It, it okay, doesn't you made your point. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Whatever mommy wants, mommy gets. It just looks a thousand times better. Who's with me? Nobody. Oh, Doc said he loves the outline. Draco said the outline makes it pop. I don't mm -hmm. think so. It's all right, guys. Jeff Bell said taste isn't for everyone. I think it took away from it. It was it maybe too thick. But I think it looks great the way it is. And I think it does pop. You're the doctor. <laughs> the doctor of Maloney. What's that we got? We are at a minute 14. I'm sorry, an hour 14. Bob McLaren said um, outline, but maybe like 50%. I think that's what it was for me too. It was just too much. Or maybe the color. Maybe if you did a black outline. It was a color. No, I think the color that you were trying to do it made it look too cartoony. Oh, Jeff it said, is a cartoon, Beth. Book is going to draw something. I'll send it to you guys. <laughs> Perfect. Draco said, got to listen to the boss, though. Yeah, she pays the bills. So. Sometimes I have some good ideas. Sometimes. Um, Kevin Johnson said the outline color was distracting, in my honest opinion. I agree. This is what I'm saying. And I don't doubt Kevin Johnson. I can't doubt Kevin Johnson. So. Well, that's about right. He agrees. I mean, that's that's totally about right. You know, if anybody's telling you anything, that's usually who you believe. Doc said, great it's never work. Me. Another great night. Thanks so much and happy new year to the two of you and all watching. Heather said, have a great night. Love the pick. Thanks. Draco said, name one real quick. 
Name one what? <laughs> one. Oh, Kevin said stop, LOL. <laughs> Kevin, I love it that you're always right and you're on my side this time. <laughs> Fantastic. Someone's got to be on your side. Yes, they do. Draco said good idea. Oh, name one good idea. There, I've had a few. I've had a few um, design ideas. In fact, this yeah. band partly was my some of my ideas. Partly your idea. Partly. Did it was you? A, no, it was my foot. Yeah, you better, Ben. My foot. It was a collaboration. Um, we also collabed on, we've got um, a couple things in the works. We are ready to pull the trigger after the first of the year on a new t-shirt design. Two. Two new t-shirt designs. There will, yes, there will be two new. They actually have four in the in the chamber, but we're gonna start with two. We don't want to overwhelm you. Because the, the the redo I, or the it's a new sketchy speed equipment shirt. Yes. And it's it it's pretty, pretty sick. Cool. Yeah. And you did a redesign of one of our uh original ones or one of the ones we already have now, a little bit of a redesign for a reprint because we ran out of stock. So yeah, I just need to that. redo it, and I want—I just wanted it to look a little, saw something that needed to be changed. So. Right. And probably some new stickers coming out, I'd say, first quarter as well. We've got some cool stuff going on over here at johnnyjalopy.com. We are not all just arguments and... <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Right? Um, Jody said, LOL, you guys rock. So funny. Matty Bunce, looks like I made it just in time. Mattavius Buntis. Matt, I don't know if you saw this. It is a C10 with Father Time and Baby New Year in it. So what? For Happy New Year. Mattavius Buntus. Buntus. There you go. There's Father Time and Baby. How cool. Did you sign it? I did not. I'm doing that. Right He's now. signing it now. Let me zoom in on the design. Johnny's doing his signature here. Um, and just FYI, guys, this has been his signature since i've known him this has been your johnny jalopy signature <laughs> well because some people change their the way they sign things when they have to sign their name a lot but i've always seen you sign it like this on stuff so i don't know if that makes it anymore i don't either happy new year love it that was fun it was fun um, I don't know if people can see it that great, though. It looks a little blurry from that view. Can, might, maybe, what do you mean blurry from that view? Can, I can't see it. But you're also in the smallest screen ever. Okay. It's still a little blurry. What do you mean blurry? Can you see it? There we go. Well, the original print looks a lot clearer than maybe what you're seeing on here well it'll be posted as well yeah we're gonna repost once we uh get it all squared away guys um the face of the c10 is perfect kevin johnson said gavin little said happy new year mama says happy new year's to all my babies god bless love you mama russ randall said very that... strong work so can't see it nope yep that's a little bit better yes perfect oh it's going in and out i think it's just yeah, the lighting it's the, it's the, it's the... Yeah, it's just the light. There we go. Look at that. That's a little crisper. That looks good. Very cool. Any Hugh Grant. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, so we're going to figure said, So the lighting is a little too bright on it, do you think? I don't know. Or, I mean, we were concerned dark. because the overhead light was casting yeah. a shadow. So we were like eliminating that. I wonder if maybe we need to position one here, one there. Hmm. Maybe. Or maybe more over this way. Maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll figure, figure it, out. it out. We're still learning with the lights. Lights, lights. All right, guys. Single uh, shot, please. Draco said happy new year to all the family as well. The Jalopy family. The army. Yeah, so uh, have a happy new year. Clink. Um, you know, we're looking forward. You didn't talk anything about what's coming up in the new year. Any New Year's resolutions? I talked about we want to start getting into other mediums. Not mine. Yours. Oh, I didn't know you wanted to know about mine. Why would I care about mine? I know mine. My resolution is 
um, to start putting me first in 2022. Oh, wow. I'm Can you be about, more first? I'm talking about health and fitness. I'm talking about reading, um, learning, enrichment, stuff like that. Just to, be to better, no, <laughs> to better myself as a person. So that's something I'm going to be focusing on is taking time every day for me to grow as a person so I can benefit you in our marriage, so okay. I can right. benefit my family, so I can help others in a greater way. <laughs> so I'm working on getting myself to a point where I don't need anything and I can then give 100%. What do you need? There's things I struggle with. Like what? What's ADB's we're weakness? Not gonna, we're not going to get into this. What's right ADB's now? weakness? <laughs> Let's talk about there it. There are things that Let's I struggle talk. with that I am going to take care of this year. Like what? I'm resolving to maybe do. It's, you're maybe talking, it's a personal journey. Maybe you're talking about it. It will help others because they'll go, oh, me too. We'll discuss it off camera. What do you mean off camera? Why not on camera? Pronouncing names and really. I'm going to work on patience a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> with this one. Uh, yeah. I think they know it's me because I'm here. You gotta this one. This one. <laughs> what about you? Gosh, probably some more time for myself. You know, work on me. Which will work out good because I'm gonna be spending time yeah. with myself. <laughs> so you'll have to work on me because you know I thought I put myself ahead of everything else before. You know. I don't think that me doing that is a selfish thing. I think I'm finally at a point in my life where I have the time to do that for myself. Wow, why are we getting so defensive about it? Because you're making me feel guilty for doing it. Am I? Can I make you feel anything? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Love it. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? That means I'm in trouble once we get out of this. Look, you're not saying anything, so that means yes. I love you. Uh, do you? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, but truly that's what I'm going to be working on. I think it's great. Yeah. I know what you meant. Yeah. It's the same stuff we talked about. Yep. You know. It's just, you know, I, we get so busy with our lives and there's things that we, I mean, and I'm talking about the business too, putting time and effort into it. We've talked about it for four years now, things we've wanted to do. It took us three years to pull the trigger on a website, which could have, which could have really put us in a better position sure. several years Takes ago. time. It, it doesn't. We should have done it sooner. It doesn't mm. take time. We had the means to do it, and we had somebody willing to do it. I don't know if we financially had the means to we do did. it at the time before yes. that. No, we did. I don't think we we could make it work. Um, and who but, did we have? I mean, it's just recently. I mean, no. not. I mean, recently within the time frame that it's been. Yeah, I, I guess uh, an exhortation to anyone who's thinking of something to resolve to do for next year is just take action live live life take action on all of your hopes and dreams and plans just do them because if there's one thing that we've learned in the last couple of years time is short for some of us time is not promised it's short for all of us um it's shorter for some of us sure but time is short yes in, in the blip of yeah the giant scheme of things live so live life have live fun it. Do those Joy. things you plan. Yeah. Make a way. Find a way. I mean, you're not pushing people out of your way to do it, but find a way. That's right. So. Do you know the children are our future? <laughs> Teach find them a way. well and yeah, let them let, lead the way. Yeah. Let them <laughs> let, show them all the beauty they possess inside. 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 Give, them Give them a sense, sense of pride. <laughs> Guys, we love you. Have a great happy new year. Happy new year. And Hold we on. will see you in 2022. We may see you before then, but in case we don't, we'll see you 2022. Happy new year from all, all of me and this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we Johnny Jalopy. Head on over to johnnyjalopy.com. Yeah, ask the banner says below. Yes. Have a super rest of the week. Enjoy your uh, New Year's. Talk to you guys soon.